Question number 12, Barbara Stewart. My question is to the Associate Minister of Health and asks, is she satisfied with the current level of care in rest homes? Honourable Joe Goodhue. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The majority of providers do a very good job. However, when issues do arise, the Ministry and DHBs respond swiftly to make sure the immediate situation is addressed and the risk of it happening again is minimised. To support the aged care sector in providing higher quality care, today I announce that all aged residential care providers have signed up to the use of the comprehensive clinical assessment tool Interi, six months ahead of deadline. Already 720 registered nurses have been trained in the use of this tool and have completed over 10,000 assessments. This will lead to more consistency and higher quality care. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Barbara Stewart. Is she aware of recent reports of elderly rest home residents in the Waikato that have received care, and I quote, not more than that of a concentration camp, in quotes, and that they have sustained and I quote, wounds conducive to physical abuse, as reported in the Waikato Times recently. Mr Speaker. Honourable Joe Goodhue. I am aware of an article recently in the Waikato Times which did outline 12 complaints that had been made. I'm able to say that some of those complaints were substantiated and in fact it was the swift response on the part of the um, auditing agencies that actually brought about an improvement in each of those facilities. Regrettably, sometimes situations which none of us would want do occur. What is important is how we respond to that and make sure that they cannot continue to occur. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Barbara Stewart. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does she agree with the New Zealand Nurses Organisation that, and I quote, a lack of regulation around staffing levels was a major concern, and if not, why not? Honourable Joe Goodhue. Mr Speaker, no, I do not agree with that. And the reason that I do not agree with that is that when a rest home is audited, it is audited in, on when, whether, irrespective of how many staff are used, it is providing high quality care to the residents. In fact, that is the bottom line for these residents. Are they getting quality of care? I can, however, also add to that that the Waikato DHB funding into aged residential care has gone up by 22 per cent since 2009-10. So it appears that, in fact, extra money is going into the situation. But it is the quality of care, not the numbers of people providing it, that really counts. Order, Thank you, Mr. Order. Speaker. Supplementary question, Barbara Stewart. Does she agree with the Service and Food Workers Union that aged care is undervalued and underfunded? And if so, what is she doing about it? Mr. Speaker. Honourable Joe Goodhue. What I am able to tell the member and this House is that aged residential care spending since 2008-09 has gone from $744 million to $953 million forecast for this year. That is a 28 per cent increase over five years. So what I am saying is that in the end it's the quality of care that counts because certainly any lack of quality is what causes complaints in our system. Order. That concludes questions for oral answer. Would some honourable member Mr. care to move that the <coughs> House take notes of miscellaneous business? Mr. The Speaker. Honourable Dr. Peter Sharples. Tenakwe. 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 Mr. Speaker,